All right, guys, welcome back to another update. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's see what we got going on over here, my guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so if you've been following the channel, you've been following this particular map, um, first let me just slow down a bit. As you can see, I, um, I've spoke on Mr. Santa Cruz here cutting through my provinces to get to wherever he felt he needed to go. So, yes, at this stage, guys, will be the beginning of my offensive attack towards Mr. Santa Cruz. Um, as you can see, as he's crossing through my provinces, these soldiers will not make it. They will be caught in the crossfire as they go through. And we will also put pressure on him into his own provinces down here. Another thing, guys, that I'm going to go ahead and share with you. This is a multiplayer account. So these guys, I don't know which one, but these guys here are multiplayer accounts. So you're going to find out how how I find out a lot of times is one will make a move and stop. In the next few minutes, you'll see the other one try to make a move and stop. So he has to keep switching accounts and stuff like that. So some people are not good at multitasking. So if you see, I put all my cars in position so that they can run right through and get these promises rather quickly. Um... <laughs> Now, he's going to be upset at me. Because if you look right here, I got my balloon here. And he wanted me to send my balloon over here to help him break down this fort. But I would not be doing that. Now that he's in a battle with that last province there, that's a level 5 or 4 province. So he's going to have a very difficult time taking that down. So he's going to lose those troops there. So you got to remember, guys, this is early in the game. So these troops absolutely count. Absolutely valuable. So that's going to hurt him. Because he's going to have no troops to help protect him on the backdrop. So I'm moving my guys in position. Moving my guys in position. And so now he's not getting that air support that he asked me for. Basically, he's going to feel like he's been bamboozled. Uh, he's been he's been hoodwinked. He, he's going to feel like he's been hoodwinked. <laughs> you know, because this guy thought he was so smart. But I'm going to I'm going to teach him about when you're playing against the Supreme Master. Now, before I can attack him, I do have to leave the coalition. Because I don't want him to see at this point where I will be attacking him from some of the attack points. So, um, now he's in the dark about where all my troops are and stuff like that. So, that makes it more real. And while those troops he got up there are going to be in that battle for a while, because of that high level fort, I can start to move in my troops on the inside. One of my, Dr. J, you mentioned doing that. That's why I was laughing when you commented, um, because that's exactly what I'm doing to him. Is You said, let him go ahead and fight a third party. Absolutely. That's an absolute smart now, now you're starting to understand Dr. J how to play this game with me. So me and you are going to have to play a game together soon. And thank you again for being a member and a subscriber and a follower of the channel. You are an example of somebody who I would definitely, definitely be playing the game with in the near future. Maybe right after this map right here so that we can really do it the right way. 
But that's what I mean by get re starting to build a team. Everybody want to be on a team, but nobody wants to really show that they really want to be a part of it. So I had to slow it down a bit and, you know, just kind of look for those who really, really understand what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And they want to be a part of it. So I appreciate you, Dr. J. But yes, um, you know, Mr. Santa Cruz here thought he was just going to run through my provinces, dictate, you know, the movement of what, what was going on in, in, in South America. Um, he recruited, he started recruiting everybody as if that was going to stop me from um, demonstrating who I am in this game. I am the supreme master and that needs to be understood. So he's going to learn a valuable lesson. Um, you know, what he should have done was been more respectful. Well, let me, let's start from the beginning. You should have never attacked me from the beginning. That's the first thing. You should have sent a message. Um, number two, you, if you're going to attack someone and then retreat, you need to have a more humble, respectful demeanor. You don't rip and run through the same person's nation right after you guys just made peace. You back up a bit. You find another peaceful route to go that's not as threatening. Oh, well, you just backstared him. You were supposed to boom, boom, boom. And now you just used any excuse to try to attack him. You were just looking for any excuse to do that. I bet that's how some of y'all sound. This is war. This is war. And when, you, and when you're playing a war game, there's rules. There's rules and regulations to the game. You see those cars I got in position? Those cars are like daggers. Once you understand the car game, if you've been watching my videos now, you understand that's one of my most valuable assets is those cars. It drives the, it drives them nuts. It drives them nuts. So let's see here. See how them guys ain't even they don't even know. He don't even know yet that he's been um he's been uh exiled. <laughs> When Santa Cruz get get wind of what's taking place, he is going to be livid. He's going to be livid. But he deserves it because the way he played, um, I, I, I can't respect it. Um, you know, you're asking me to do this and do that as if I don't have my own goals. He said, hey, can you send your balloons over here so that... Um, it can take down, you know, that fort. Yes, in a normal situation, absolutely. You wouldn't even have to ask me. I would just do it. But if you got to keep asking someone, hey, can I have this province? Hey, can you help me do this? Hey, can you do that? No. Now you're trying to use me. So he got to deal with that on his own up there. <laughs> We, <laughs> and as you can see, I got my guys coming in so that when this thing right here get good and weakened up, we can come right in here and swoop and take that lot, that last province. Oh yeah, guys, the gloves are off. I don't know what y'all thought I was. I am a general. And sometimes, as a general, you got to make decisions that you don't always want to make. But you got to make the decision that's going to protect the nation. Santa Cruz was threatening our nation. And so he will be dealt with as a treasonous rebel.
We thwarted his his uh, initial coup. And, you know, he went cuckoo and thought he could dictate after getting his behind with. Starting to think he a bit of, I don't know, I'm starting to think something wrong with the boy. But no, he tried to really, really, really be slick, guys. Look at this, running through my stuff. Oh, man, he was just trying to run through so he could get to the other side to get to the other enemy. Man, you just try to use anything to attack him. <laughs> and you wrong for that. You backstabbed him. Man, please. No, I outsmarted him. And I peed. His initial, you and you, you guys will see as this game go on how people are on this game and how you have to really, really, really be crafty. If you're not crafty, if you're not, if you don't understand psychological warfare and stuff like that, these guys will get over on you on this. All right, so we'll leave it at that, guys. I will um keep you guys filled in as to how this war that's about to start how this will um turn out um uh, this is the beginning of the war between me and santa cruz um i don't know what the other members of the coalition is going to do are they going to back him up or are they just going to mind their business we don't know yet um so all that remains to be seen but uh i will keep you guys definitely in tune any little tidbit i can share with you i will if you have any questions or concerns um feel free to ask those questions um let's see make sure i'm not leaving anything out so he's about an hour and a half off he's about a, about 50 minutes off so hopefully we get we catch um Hopefully we catch Mr. Santa Cruz off guard before he recognizes that we're no longer bonded. And that's how you want to do it, guys. You don't want to do stuff where it's so obvious. As you can see, I did a good job of um, not being so obvious about what my, my movements were. He didn't see this coming, which he, I would have seen it coming, but he didn't see this coming. So this is going to be a shock to him. And he's not going to have a lot of time to regroup in this situation. All right. So I'll keep you guys posted and stay tuned for the next update.